evening, boys and girls and Stingray parents. We've got some homework to do. We have um, 10 problems to do, and these, prob these word problems I call percent, whole, and part problems. The reason why I call them um, the percent, whole, and part problems, in order to solve these problems, the very first thing you should do underneath each problem is write percent times whole equals part. Okay, and that will guide you through each problem. Once you have the equation written down, you need to look for each piece of the equation. Now, there's three pieces, but you're only going to find two. That means the missing piece is going to be a variable. Just plug in any variable. X, Y, it can be something more meaningful if you want. But once you have um, it set up as an equation, you can then solve for that unknown variable and answer the question correctly. Okay, I'm going to walk you through the first two problems, problems one and two, and then after that you have eight more problems. There is a secondary worksheet with ten more problems, but you only need to do the first worksheet with the first ten problems. Let's get started on those two problems. Please write down each step with me. Let's get started. Right, let's get started with tonight's homework. Um, here we have problem one. I'll walk through this problem with you. And as stated before, as told you, we, we've done percent whole and part problems before. But tonight you have um, percent whole part word problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by writing down our formula. You must do this, okay? We know that our formula is the percent, okay? times, okay, the whole, will equal our part. Whatever that may be, okay? We, we take the percent, we multiply it by the whole, and that gives us our part. Now what we need to do is we need to go through our word problem, read it, and find these different items. Okay, let's read the problem. Jennifer made a fruit juice using red and green grapes. 30% of the grapes are green. Okay, well, 30% are green, so 30%, um, that would look like that's our percentage of the grapes are green. If she used the total of 60 grapes, okay, total, that sounds like our whole, okay, okay, is 60 grapes. How many red grapes should she use? Okay, and the red grapes, okay, that is our part. Okay, now, so they want to figure out how many, I might want to go to black here, they want to figure out how many red grapes we need. Well, up here it says 30% of the grapes are green. Ooh, here we have green, and here we have red. We want to know red. Well, I'm going to go off here. Well, it says 30% are green. Okay. That's what it says. It says 30% are green. Okay, well, 30% are green, and I know altogether I have 100 all my grapes would be 100% grapes. If I take the 30% of green grapes away, that leaves me with 70%, which is the red grapes. Okay, now I'm getting somewhere. So I know that 70% is my percentage. This was a little tricky. We just got to make sure you're interpreting the problem correctly. So I have 70% times the total number of grapes, which is my whole, 60 grapes, that's going to equal the number of red grapes needed. Okay, so how do I solve this problem? Let's, well, I need to convert first. So here I have my formula. I have my percentage. I have my whole. I just don't have my part. So I need to multiply 70% times 60, and that will give me the number of red grapes. Well, 70% is the same thing as 70 out of 100, which can reduce to 7 tenths. I multiply that by 60, and that will give me 42 red grapes. And there is my answer. I found my part.
Boys and girls, that first one was pretty tricky, but we handled it. Let's try the second one. Boys and girls, let's look at our second problem. And before we even start with our problem, write down our formula. We know for solving percent and whole part problems, they're going to give us two of these three pieces, okay? Um, we, we're either going to have to find the percent, whole, or part, and they'll give us two of the, of the pieces of the puzzle. We need to figure out the third part, okay? So the formula is the percent times the whole, the whole amount or total amount will always equal our part. Let's go look at our word problem and see if we can find two of these three pieces of the puzzle and then plug it into our equation or substitute it and solve. Okay, so here we go. Danny just hired a new employee to work in his bake shop. In one hour, the employee burned 625 chocolate chip cookies. Wow! If this represents 25% of the day's production, how many cookies did you plan on producing that day? Okay, so 625 isn't the total amount, okay? It's only 25% of the day's production. So 25 then is our part. I'm mean, sorry, 625. That's a lot of chocolate chip cookies, okay? That's our part, and we know that um, that represents 25%, 25% of our total cookies, which is the day's production. So we that's the unknown, okay? We've got we've got the part, we've got the percent. We just need to figure out the the whole, which is the day's produ production. If I can speak correctly. Okay, so let's set this equation up. I'll start out with okay, I've got 25%. That's my percentage, my whole. Okay. Um that's, I'm just going to give it a variable w, I don't know, that's my unknown. And then my part, 25% of the whole, is 625 chocolate chip cookies. What a sad mistake. That's a lot of cookies, a lot of yummy cookies um, that are being burnt. Okay, so what do I do? I, I change my 20, so I have my formula of 25% times W is equal to 625. Or in other words, 25% will be changed to 25 hundredths um, times W is equal to 625 cookies. So there goes each of our parts. We have a equation. This is a one-step equation. We just need to solve for W, which is the whole or total day's production that was planned on. I need to isolate the variable by performing the inverse operation. If I'm multiplying it by 25 hundredths, I need to divide by 25 hundredths. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. And the 25 hundredths on this side will cancel out. And 600 25 divided by 25 hundredths, which is really just multiplying it by 4, will give me 2,500. And that was the total number of cookies that were baked. Unfortunately, 625 of them were burnt. So there's my answer. I Actually, I should have made it blue. There's my answer. My answer is the total number of cookies that were supposed to produce that day were 2,500. Boys and girls, you're on your own for the remaining eight problems. I know you can do it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.